I'm up on the roof now for the uh, wiring part up on the roof and uh, as you can see I've got the rails all set um, just as a note on the iron ridge you can set the flat part in you know and flat part in I didn't do that initially but it was easy to fix I've got my um, my uh, rails uh, together right there and um, here's my pull box I rigged on the roof I just used a, a QV quick mount um, and followed the directions and then um, then I just had to do kind of a, a 12 degree bend here um, and then I married I made it up to the uh, iron ridge racks um, and you could kind of see a strap there. So I'm strapping along the side with a um, with a uh, coupler there. And then I found it a lot easier just to put a coupler, um, you know, in between the in between the two rails. Just because, like here, I'm kind of it's easier for fishing. And then um, it's just a lot more flexible. If you if you're if you if things are kind of a little tight, it's so much easier just to pop the coupler. So I kind of like that. And then my idea is I've I've actually pulled a few extra cables. Right now I only need um, line one, line two, and green. And I've actually got two uh, two other cables, which I've I've also um, oh, I uh, I mentioned before. Um, and so what I'm doing here is um, I've got a box um, that I just a regular two gang box which I think is going to be good for me because I've got a high amount of um, wires you can kind of see I just got some washers and I from the hardware store and I drilled holes and so this thing moves around which is kind of nice and then over here I got, um, I found a Romex type connector here where I can run the, um, the end phase cable here. I'm going to um, basically just cut this end phase cable down and there's a tail on it that they give you. Um, so I'm just at the starting of, of hooking that up. Um, as far as surprises, um, I'd probably say I was surprised by... I didn't quite, I wasn't accurate at measuring my cable, but um, I, I almost ran out of cable, I think. Um, it was it was close. I mean, I thought I was going to have way more on the roof than I did. Uh, so I'll let you know what happens next, but everything's kind of progressing. Thank you. I'm about ready for my inspection. Um, here's another shot of the um, J-Box where the end phase is hooking up to. I've secured everything down, um, tied the, um, the, the grounds together. Um, I've got my spares, my future spares um, here, just capped off. And then I've got kind of a fancy um, uh, connector that all D-Store uh, sold me. It's a kind of a puts the conductors in a bunch of goop and it's I guess uh, pretty good for um, wet environments and then here's the um, end phase strand I've just kind of bagged you're not supposed to put the end phase up until um, they can live underneath the panel so I'm just uh, about ready I'm gonna put labels on but um, this is pretty much what I have now I um, just I go straight to the rail, I mount conduits and go along the rail with the conduit and then I just wrap it around to the inside of where the end phase is taking off and then the end phase is just going to uh, go along go along this line right here. California has a PV permitting guidebook that calls out specific standard items in a solar plan that allows people to have expedited permit pulling in almost every city in California. However, 
it's my interpretation that this three-quarter inch conduit is necessary and um, that permits us to run larger wire up to the roof um, I'm running number 10 instead of the plans calling out uh, number 12 and I'm running two extra wires for future that probably cost me about $30 um, I'm also running um, what I believe to be uh, required for the um, end phase grounding, which is a 8 gauge wire. Um, some people say uh, it's not needed, some people say 10, some people say 8, but I'm running 8 right now. And that's going to copper number um, 6 on the roof. Okay, right here I have an uh, end phase um, uh, system, and I'm basically, um, I bought a big spool of black, and I'm basically putting a, a red marker on, the, on this leg because note, noting that it is red, not black. Um, and this way I'm able to economically buy a bunch more wire. And here's the uh, line one. Um, and you can see um, I've also um, put my spare wires here and I'm keeping them here so all I have to do when the time comes if I want to add another string I just um, put it on this breaker set here. Um, you'll also see the way they've organized it line one runs through um, this magnetic sensor and that will give you some sort of load calculations and then here's the envoy system that's basically um, powered by this breaker here um, and I've got my grounds run and um, as you can see I'm exiting th this panel and bringing the um, PV wire um, the PV uh, solar array over here out the side of this box and um, it's going into um, this um, disconnect box. The disconnect box basically has the, um, this is the load side, um, I've marked it as such. Um, so the load side is the side where the PV array is and you have to, uh, the line side is, is the main panel side. So it has to be wired like this. I've tied the two white wires together and I've got a separate ground bus where I've um, basically wiring up the ground. Then I'm coming down and I had to drill a hole in the wall, fish up a new set of wires. I've got the brand new breaker here. It has to be located in the lower part of the panel. You have to organize your breaker it, breakers if you're not going to do that or if you don't if you can't do that you've got to organize it towards the low side all the load has to be on top of this um, I've got the, the um, my red wire the black wire connected and I've got the ground bus over there and I have the other white wire here okay so now we're going to do a quick test I'm going to close this cover I've got the um, the voltmeter on the AC scale and I've got one um, black probe on the ground and I'm going to go ahead and um, let's see I'm going to go ahead and see if I've got zero over there I'm basically on this ground okay so now what I'm going to do is swip flip on the breaker here let's go see what my current is okay I've got nothing there okay so let's turn this on and okay um, I've got 119 volts on this breaker and 119 on this side so I've got 119 on both sides Okay, still over here. We're gonna we're gonna go over here, and we don't have anything. All right. So now I'm gonna hook. Now I'm going to take this switch and throw it in the on position. Okay. Now you can kind of see the envoy firing up. Now notice that I haven't turned on the PV array. I'm just testing the voltage. 
uh, from the panel. Okay, so let's see. I just put my probe on that, and I've got 119 volts. Put my probe on the next one, and I've got 100, 119 volts. Okay, so um, this um, so this finalizes my um, my testing, and I'll probably show you labels next.